In case you've forgotten, that familiar ozone haze drops by every summer, and though we often ignore it, researchers know it can be as hazardous as wintertime pollution, depending on where you are. It is an oxidant compound, so it oxidizes your system. If you're ever in an area with really high ozone, you will actually feel it stinging your throat and stinging your eyes. So this season, aboard tracks, drones, balloons, research vehicles, and even Chopper 5. Monitors will be tracking where and how ozone moves around the Wasatch Front, and especially over the Great Salt Lake. We do see, like I say, the ozone, for lack of a better word, sort of sloshing around along the Wasatch Front. And now it's time to figure out why is it doing that. So. Researchers at Utah State, Weber State, the University of Utah, and the Department of Environmental Quality will collect the data Chopper 5's sensors may provide info on concentrations they've never seen before. This is the only study that we know of where a news helicopter is monitoring uh, pollution on a regular basis. Ozone pollution follows a unique path. Sunlight transforms compounds already in the air into a complex series of chemical reactions that go on to form ozone. It isn't emitted from anywhere, it's simply formed in the atmosphere. It not only affects the chemistry in our own bodies, but also in plants. Some will develop brown or white spots. Ozone can stunt their growth as well. Because of minimum state funding, university researchers are dishing into their own pockets for these studies. All of the researchers from all of the universities put in a lot of their, our own funding where we could find funding. With a change in the federal standards for ozone, researchers expect we could breach pollution levels this summer perhaps more than a dozen times. Randy Martin says we simply must know more about the complexity of what happens in our air during the summer. Just because it's difficult does not mean that we shouldn't fix it. Ed Yates, KSL 5 News.